Before we start, you'll need to take your mud through a funnel mesh filter, and then after that, fill your mud to this point on my left hand. And then top mark, that's where you go with a base oil if you're using um, oil base, and if you're using water base, you'll use water to wash it. So fill your mud up to the mark. Clean off whatever you've spilled on the outside so you can see the glass properly. You can see the mark there. Now fill it up with base oil to the top mark. Doesn't really need to be precise with this one, just fill it up with some base oil and then we'll give it a shake about. Make sure we've got all the sand off the bottom and stuff to move around. Okay, now you can see the sand's coming off the bottom, so we'll give it a nice shake and then we'll put it into our filter. So now we are ready for the 74 micron screen to pour it over. So that means it'll just be able to capture all the sand, salt, very fine, fine particles that is left that the coarser screens can't get. And we've still got some sand left over in here and also mud, so we want to get this washed out and get this quite clean. The cleaner it is, the easier it is to see the end result. Um, so you can do this as many times as you want until you think it's clean enough. Now when you go to pour it into this uh, filter, it is best to tap the side like this and that will help the fluid go past and leave the solids behind. It's just like a mini uh, shaker. And now you can see what is left over inside. So we can also give that a rinse, like so, just with base oil, and if it's a water-based mud, you just use water to clean it. So we're using base oil. The cleaner you get this, the easier it is to see in the glass, so make sure it's all washed. So you put your cone over the top, then your sample catcher there, turn it upside down and now you're going to wash from the top and that will make the solids go back into your test tube uh, and it will also fill up with base oil. Once you've done this, you just have to place it down for a couple of minutes and leave everything to settle and you'll be able to see the end result. You want to make sure that there's no solids left inside of your filter, that's very important. So we'll just take everything back off now and just leave it to settle and now we can get the end result. Here's the end result. We have got 6% in total. As you can see on the glass, that is where it's all indicated. So the cleaner the glass is, the easier it is to see the percentage. <laughs> 